Today we had our first real big day. i um, not saying that yesterday wasn't big or anything, but so what happened was we had teams who went to both the Pirates, or not the Pirates, um, excuse me, we had teams that went to the Twins and uh, to the Ball State team actually down here in Port Charlotte. And so pretty much what happened was, um, you know, Twins team, they had to leave really early so that they can catch their media day. And um, they actually, uh, MLB Network was there with them, I believe. MLB. It was MLB oh, Network. Um, but a really big, big name baseball station was down there with them. So they ran into them. Uh, they met a few Twins players, greats who were with them. They met uh, Tori Hunter and Joe Maurer. I'm pretty jealous of. I love Joe Maurer. Um, Tori Hunter's my dude. Uh, so they went down and they got to meet and interview them. Uh, they also got to meet a uh, groundskeeper who's apparently worked every Super Bowl since the Super Bowl has existed. He's in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Royals Hall of Fame, some other Hall of Fame. Very big name uh, person. So to be able to interview him, that was pretty cool. Um, from what I understand, they had a pretty long, hectic day. They had to be up at a crack of dawn. Or I think my roommate Peter said he was setting his alarm for 5.10, and they were on the road by 6.15. So you can only imagine how quick that was for them. So they did that. And then by the time that we got back from the Ball State game, they were in the meeting room and they had already pounded out some stories. The Ball State crew today, we had actually, we had a pretty easy day. Uh, we didn't, our day didn't start until about 12.45. And then, so we got to the game and we set up, uh, you know, equipment. We kind of got the lowdown of what was going on. Uh, Ball State was playing the University of Maine. Um, it was a very close game. Uh, I think we, I think the final score ended up being eight to six, and it, it should have been a bit of a blowout. We Ball State had them up six three, six two, something like that, around the fifth inning, and then the floodgates opened up. But you know, defense hung in there. Offense came in right when they needed it and provided that last second. Uh, or the last any last minute run support that they desperately needed. So that was pretty cool. And then afterwards, we were able to interview uh, the coach. So we got to, you know, and right now everybody's just grinding. They're trying to get stories pumped out so we can get those on the website tonight. Um, I'm going to end up doing the same thing after this video. Honestly, like the last two days have been a bit of hectic so to be able to have that break that would be really cool um, I'm excited so hopefully we can get that and, and take in a, take in a game